Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. So I am back with a Bath and Body Works haul. Now you guys, uh, if you've been paying attention to the daily, weekly sales at Bath and Body Works, they have a, a different deal every day. So I picked up on the $1.75 hand cream sale. Um, and I had a coupon for uh, get a free item when you spend $10 or more. So that's what I did. I picked up some $1.75 hand creams and got a free item. And I also returned slash exchange an item. So I will get into that. So if you're like me, your hands get really dry in the winter. If you guys are interested in my nail polish color, it is Wave Gel USA. And it's called uh, Jazzy Party or something or something like that. Jazzy's something. Anyway, so I picked up some hand creams. Uh, let me show you the ones that I got. Remember, $1.75 each, usually marked $4. So the first one that I got is actually hand and body cream, and it is in the scent Tiare. Uh, the Tiare flower is a beautiful scent. Yankee Candle makes a candle in that scent. Uh, Island Tiare flower, I think it's called. It's a white candle. It's really beautiful. It's very has a very faint scent. That's my only, <coughs> excuse me, uh, problem with that candle. It's a beautiful candle. Um, anyway, so the tiare flower and this smells like the suntan candle. It's really, really, really nice and floral and beachy. So I picked up that. I'm not nuts about the design. I mean, it's okay. It has like this matte finish. The next one that I got is the green tea uh, with shea butter. And I smell this. It does not smell like green tea to me. I'm hoping when I use it, it'll smell more like green tea. Let me just squirt out a little bit of it. See? I guess it smells like green tea. A little bit. Um, these hand creams are great. I mean, I like keeping them in my car in my desk at work and in my bag. It smells a little like green tea. I wish it smelled more like green tea. Anyway, it has like this Alice in Wonderland looking kind of design with the teapot. The other thing that I don't like about these creams, uh, other than the price and, and stuff, is the, the cap. There's a couple of things wrong with these creams. Um, so, I just squeezed out a little of the cream and it gets, okay, so the hole where the cream comes out, it, once, once you squeeze the cream out, it, it's, there's like a little reservoir there, so cream gets stuck in that little reservoir area, whereas the older creams, um, they, it, it, the spout was flat to the bottle, and so when you squeeze the cream out, there was no reservoir to trap it. Um, and the other thing is, the other creams had a, I wish I had one here to show you, they had a cap that just, you flick, flipped it up and it was attached. You could just squeeze the cream out and flip the cap over. The cap was connected. This, you take this off in the car, the cap can fall behind the seat, it can fall, you know, a number of places, you have to be very careful. So I don't know why they changed the cap to that and why they made that the little reservoir there that traps the cream and <coughs> lets it sit there. Still doesn't smell like green tea to me. Anyway, here's another one that doesn't smell like it's supposed to smell. So this is French lavender. Um, this smells more like baby powder to me. When I first open it, it smells like the wasabi I get with my sushi. And then before I had put some on, I'll put some on again. I hate using this because if I want to give it away as a gift, that cream gets stuck there. Um, so I'm just like, I really don't like that about it. It smells like the, uh, like the French lavender candle when you actually, when you put it on. Yeah, it does. 
Um, now I'm going to get into uh, these that have the sayings on them. I don't know how you guys feel about the sayings, but this one says good vibes only. I'm not nuts about them. I think they're just like corny and pointless, and I just don't know why they do that. But So this says good vibes only, and this is vanilla coconut. Oh, this smells really good. This smells like vanilla and coconut. See, now why, why does this one have a flat head, a flat spout, so that there's no way the cream gets trapped into it? See, because it's completely flat. It's hard to see. See how it's flat? Um, let me see if I could do a comparison. It's weird. Look. See the amount of grooves that are on here compared to here? This, the cream comes out, it's flat, comes off. This one, see how there's a reservoir there? Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe they, these are the newer creams, the ones with the sayings on them. So, maybe they got wise to what I'm telling you about and they decided to fix it, which if they did, that's a good thing. The vanilla coconut just smells amazing. It smells like summertime. Um, the packaging, I don't like it. Ah. Oh. Then here's another one with the weird sayings on it. This is love you. And this is pink peonies. This also, this smells like peonies. Little apple little floral, and again, this is with the less grooves. So, yeah, it looks like they're making the, the newer ones with flat heads. Oh. <coughs> and then the next one that I got, I actually like the packaging on this. It's very modern. This is the Black Cherry Merlot, which everyone loves. You know what they should do? They should put how low can you Merlot on there. Um, and this one is also, no, this one has got the reservoir in it. And this one, this one is, smells like Luden's cough drops. It smells like you're rubbing your hands with Luden's cough drops. Now, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, <coughs> or a bad thing, I don't know. I'm still trying to get over this cough. Yeah, those are cough drops. It smells really good. So, I got those. Let's review. I got six creams, dollar seventy-five each, so that I can go over the ten dollars. So I could go over the ten dollars, so I could get my free item up to thirteen fifty. This is like a good thumbnail. Um, and so, <coughs> my free item, I got the Coco Shea Cucumber. And this is the Really Refreshing Foaming Scrub. Cocoa Butter, Shea Butter, and Cucumber Water. Light Smoothing. <coughs> and it looks like it's going to be refreshing. So I smelled it. Smells like cucumber melon. I definitely want to try this on my next shower. Definitely looks interesting. So, yeah. I won't read you all the stuff that's on the back. You don't want me to read all that, do you? No. So then I wanted to return something. <coughs> now, I almost never return body creams or soaps or anything. Even that horrible mint mojito soap i lived with it but i had a I'm, I'm keeping a hand lotion on my sink in the bathroom because like i said in the winter my hands get really dry so i had gotten this um lotion it was black tea and cedar and the first time i used it i really didn't like it it had this really odd smell to it it's like a tang not that it smelled like tang. It had a, a tangy after smell to it that I just really didn't like. It must have been the cedar 
the cedar wood or cedar. So black tea and cedar or cedar wood. I think it was black tea and cedar. I, I just did not like it at all. I could not see myself using it because it smelled really bad. Um, so I, I went to exchange it and uh, to my surprise at the store, they didn't have any in that line. That was the one that was like, it was a, a white cream and a bottle with a spout and it had a wraparound label that was like a purple marble kind of look to it. It was marked eight fifty. I did not pay that for it. I forget how much I paid for it. But anyway, <clears throat> they, uh, they didn't have it. So the woman said to me, you can get one of the honey hand lotions. So I picked that one. So anyway, I, I was able to exchange it. Um, the honey hand lotion, got my bag here. The honey hand lotion was set marked 750. And what I was returning was marked 850. So I thought, okay, well, I'm losing a dollar, even though I know I didn't pay a full price for it. But then when she rung it up, this, which is marked 750, rang up 750, and what I was returning rang up $5. So it was like I was getting over on them for $2.50, but I really wasn't. Point being, they took it back because I just was not, not gonna use it. It just smelled terrible. So this is, the Be Happy Hand Lotion. Now, if they, like I said, if they had the other ones, like the, the Black Cherry or the Vanilla Flower or all the ones in that line, I would have got one of those. But they only had the Honey one, so that's what I was forced to get. So this is the Be Happy Hand Lotion with Honey Butter, and this is Vanilla Snowflake. I got the most generic one because It smells like the vanilla flower in the in the other line. Um, I got the most generic one because I just didn't want to have a problem where I just didn't like the scent as a as a hand lotion. So I was torn between this and the gingerbread one. Um, but the gingerbread one, when I first smelled it, I was like, this smells really good. But then it had like this after smell. I don't know if it was gingerbread latte or something. It had like this eggnog kind of sour milk after scent in a weird way. So I was like, you know what? I am not going to get that. I am going to go with basic and generic and I'm just going to get the vanilla snowflake. And I will see how the honey butter does compared to like the shea butter and the, the other stuff. I like how the, the bottle is. It's like, I don't know, what color is the cream? Is the cream this weird yellow color or is it white? Uh, the cream is white. So it's just the bottle that's that yellow color. So I'm going to put this in my bathroom and I'm going to see how I like it. And, uh... I will report back to you guys. So that's the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't a big haul. Uh, remember to comment and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.